testing real quick. Okay, good. Hey guys! Oops, sorry about that. Bumped my microphone. Alright. Good to see that the chat is in the proper place today. Howdy. Uh, hi, Numarka. Hi, Rogue. Thank you for being here early. Maybe other people will join soon. And stream. All right. So we're just going to start with a new uh, game today. Ah, uh, we'll go with full survival. I can't imagine ever doing hardcore on this. It would be too hard. Uh, only one fucking life. All it takes is forgetting to eat once. But yeah, so I tried to play this game a couple... Back when it, uh, finally fully released. But unfortunately, my game... Well... It didn't have a good graphics card. And there's a lot of water. So... Kind of hard to play when everything's crashing. Oh no. That doesn't look good. Ow. Uh oh. There's a lot of fire. We're gonna fucking die. Sorry, don't panic. Just don't panic. I have to relearn how to play this game because I haven't played it in a long time either. Alright. This ship is on fire. Yep. Also, I just realized I keep forgetting to turn on low latency mode. This PDA has now rebooted in emergency mode with one directive to keep you alive on an alien world. Please refer to the data bank for detailed survival advice. Good luck. Cool. I can't build anything. Let's open this up. Alright. Cool. Well, at least we've got stuff. This is gonna be the hard part, is relearning everything. Well, shit. Suffered orbital hull failure. Cause unknown. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. When did we end up? Sadly, this boat doesn't row. It's just an escape pod. They added a lot of new stuff to this. Yep, just break that with my merrily, fist. Merrily, 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 shit will make you scream. Sulfur is an essential component of the repair tool. Copper is an essential component of all powered equipment. Your probability of survival has just increased to unlikely, but plausible. Well. He's got something. <clears throat> Shit. 
shut up, Cortona. T <laughs> Actually, according to buttons, that's Astra. Elite Dangerous apparently has the same uh, VA, so. Well, I didn't mean to make that, but you know what? That's fine. Uh, More like Astra. No, don't do that. Secretary chest failed. Secondary systems offline. Radio offline. Distress signal broadcast failed. Flotation devices deployed. Hull integrity okay. So also, I played Elite that. Dangerous. Fun game. Yeah, I have it. I just haven't played it yet. Uh, so what I need is some fins. Yes. Uh, not quite though. So some silicon rubber, cave sulfur, and titanium. A battery probably wouldn't hurt. If I remember correctly, battery is... Yeah, copper and two acid mushrooms. Well, we have one copper. That's good news. Need some acid mushrooms. I can only play it on my PS4, sadly. Yeah, that sounds about right. Is it all right if I add commentary to the stream? Sure. Discovered. I mean, through chat, yeah. But I just, I don't want anyone in voice right now. Oh, hey, this game. I've never actually watched anybody play it before. Ow. Hurt. Oh, hey, Calarian. Yeah, I've played it before. Uh, so this is no means, by no means my first. But I haven't been able to really stream it too much because it was really heavy on the graphics processor. So. Also, Rogue, the main reason I don't want, like, other people in voice with me is because, uh, much like Bioshock, I want to try and, like, have at least one stream, one game that allows more one-on-one -on -one with the, uh, people watching stream. Because when other people are streaming with me, then it turns into mostly respect responding to them. No, oh, come back, fish. I need you and your food. Come back! Ah! Can't catch things. Please stop staring at me. Oh lord. Alright. Food. Water. Food. Water. I'll be honest, I've never actually fully beaten the game, but, well, I beat it on creative before it was released. She keeps diving in the ocean, after narrowly escaping death, trying to get a grasp on her look, while she tries to grasp the fish. <laughs> salt. Alright, air bladder. So I need silicon rubber. Which, if I remember correctly, means I need... Yeah, creep seed. Okay. There's one over there. Let's see how well this goes. So it's kind of like a Terraria or Minecraft, 
only with Lovecrafty and underwater elements, so I hear? I can dig it. Kind of? I mean, it's definitely like full-on survival crafting. Uh, is your main goal, is to actually like, survive. But there is some like, weird alien shit, like, if I remember correctly. I bet you were expecting Morgan Freeman for this documentary, but you get Stephen Hawkins bitches. Ugh, salt, yes. I didn't need to go play Overwatch to get salt, thank god. Life on this planet grows um, distinct and diverse ecologically. Yeah, one of the major things that happens is like, you have to deal with like a weird bacterial infection that keeps happening. And you kind of find out, like, the history of the planet as a result. God damn it, I just need those fucking, like, beads. I don't need you. Ah. Stop it, leave me alone. I used to be a lot more scared of them. Now they're just annoying. Go play with some metal. You dingus. That's kinda neat. Better than the usual go have fun doing whatever. Yeah. Like, there's actually a goal in this, unlike Minecraft or Terraria. Like, Terraria's goal is basically just fight a bunch of monsters and shit. The salt she finds in the sea was the remnants of the tears of her fallen compatriots, whose souls now dwell in the deep. Where's my I like this life cannon. Pod? <laughs> like basically, I can't remember. It. Oh, that's right. So the ship that I was on, uh, supposedly they were coming to try and rescue some lost folks that somehow ended up here stories. before. I just don't write. Um, that was not what I wanted to make. Is, essential in construction of vehicles is that a fish? Plants. Is that Subnautica? Is this a stream? Is this water? Yes, Frisk. Yes, it is. All of the above. Okay, I could do fins or I could do a repair tool. I'm gonna do a repair tool. Is this a pigeon? Now we'll do fins. The fabricator draws from available data to provide environment appropriate equipment using locally available materials. Is this the real life? Or is this just fantasy? <laughs> Magically repairing shit. Yo. Hey, look, a message. Another note! Rip. You've got mail. Well, one day, we'll be rescued. Das a lot of hours. Yup. That's a lot of hours. Titanium. Titanium. All right. Let's see. Uh, I don't need lubricant yet. What do I need? Well, that's a little ways off, so we're not going to worry about that. I need a knife. I can make a knife. Oh shit, look out, she's got a knife. From standard survival blueprints following the massacre on Abraxas Prime. 
uh, habitat builder probably wouldn't hurt. Gonna need. She uh, creates tools of survival, hoping to escape silver, from the rescue gold. mission she was sent on. She spends her hours staying hopeful okay. as she crafts in her escape shuttle. Table coral sample gold copper wire. Can I have copper in here? No, oh, I need two copper. Uh, and then wiring kit is just two silver. it's nighttime so you know fucking dark out wow that lighting effect is kind of broken okay oh shit it dark spooky Yes, super spook. Much scare. Wow. Got a peeper. Also, I forgot that now you don't get the default, like, gravity well. And the good news is if you just store the fish like this, um, they don't rot. Detecting increased local radiation levels. Trend mm. is consistent with damage to the Aurora's drive core sustained during planning. Great. Bravely, great. she explores the ocean at night, hoping to collect necessary resources to make it through the long cold night. Get one of those. Copper. Just breaking shit with my fists. Ooh, quartz. Lots of quartz. More titanium that I don't necessarily need. I better swim my ass out of here. I'm gonna run out of air soon. Oxygen. Yep. Think. Think, Astra. She thinks of her dads, Vic and Brian, back <laughs> on Earth. And wonder if they are thinking about wow. it right now. I would hope that uh, Vic and Brian wouldn't spawn a fucking janitor, but hey, someone's gotta clean up this shit. Swimming! The smartest people have the shittiest jobs. <laughs> Literally. Alright, mobile vehicle bay fragment. Oxygen. No. First come here. Then oxygen. Ha! I apparently launched myself out of the water. That's cool. Copper. Ladderfish. Also weird that we're just filtrating water out of bladderfish. Get 
Dare I scan that? <laughs> Don't want to scan that. I'm good. Oh fucking cut you. That's right, bitch. I'm the apex predator now. What are you doing, you idiot? Ah! I'll fight you. Come here. I'm gonna fight you. You're lucky I need air. Bitch. She imagines herself as a dolphin, trying to find some enjoyment on her lonely journey towards survival. She laughs and then goes to look for more resources. Can you just let me scan you, you asshole? Hey, look, a Gary fish. Do 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 do. You know, you'd figure living in an ocean, you wouldn't need so much water for hydration. Table coral sample, gold, and wire. Something, something salt water dries you out. Yep, that's exactly it. Got it in On one. On her second day, she finds the ocean she landed in is not as friendly as she hoped for. The thought of being alone in a hostile environment lead her to sing old Muppet Show songs, out of distress. Lubricant! Okay, so I need gold. That's the thing I gotta find. Ugh. Wait, hold on. I need to store that. Ooh, do not take that with you. It's a bad time if you do. All right, old. Well, you're only in the kelp. How am I doing on my commentary? Doing pretty good. Eh. Eh. down here I enjoy this extra characterization of this pro drag this yes. cannon intrigues me supposedly at some point they're supposed to release uh, an update that allows you to play as a female as opposed to the standard male main character All right, bad jellies. Gold! Uh. Oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 leave me alone. You fuck. Bad times were had all around. Seems like that wouldn't be too hard to implement. A little surprised it's not in already. Are there many slash any third person segments? I'm pretty sure there aren't any third person segments. Like the only time that you actually notice any kind of gender is when you see like the shadow of the character or um 
Yikes. Sorry. <laughs> Stalkers were a little too close. She explores the kelp and seaweed, uh. straying further from her shelter. She strikes gold, and then she found a killer mutant water butterfly that wanted to eat her face. Life only gets rougher. Yep. Um, but yeah, there aren't many moments where you actually see the character in full, so it's really hard to be like... Shadows aren't exactly definite measures yeah. of gender. LOL. And then the only other time that you actually notice gender is when, uh, the character gets hurt. Not, not old. Give me a computer chip. Getting closer. What was it I was making again? Ah, Habitat Builder. Yes. Uh, so, wiring kit and battery left. Well, that's not what I meant to cook, but you know what? Isn't there like a health kit? There we go. I remember when I first tried playing this, new Monica kept freaking out because uh, I would get hurt and then forget to go get a health kit so this is life pod 3 uploading our coordinates we're plugging some holes in our emergency sea glide so if we're late for the rendezvous don't panic also don't go home without us seriously three out all right nice uploaded to pda ah so many new things ooh we got the voice logs Excuse me. Geological data. These unusual geological structures often mm, and read. There we go. Often form around titanium and copper deposits and are distinct to this planet. Closing closer analysis reveals stone around the metal has been hardened against erosion, but the mechanism remains unknown. Assessment titanium and copper source. 4546B Environment Scan, Category 3 Ocean Planet, I Oxygen Nitrogen Atmosphere, Extensive Biodiversity, Safety Warnings May Support Leviathan Class Predators, Water Contaminated with High Levels of Foreign Bacteria, Planet is Beyond Federation, Space Rescue Unlikely. It is not recommended to explore this environment without hazardous material suits and extensive support apparatus. Her escape pod oh, repaired, fucking. she now enjoys cooked fish and fresh water. She spends a few whiles to recover with her scrapes with the violent wildlife. She noticed a message on her terminal, and heard a message of hope, to escape from this water world. Brain Coral A permanent growing colony of microscopic organisms, this coral species has adapted to filter carbon dioxide from the environment, using the carbon to build the colony and expelling oxygen from its specialized exhaust funnels. It is quite hardy, suggesting samples from mature specimen could grow artificially. Assessment, air tanks are equipped to siphon oxygen from water where possible. Stalker, a streamlined predator encountered in the kelp forests in weight of prey leaving the safety of the shallows to feed. The stalker likely carved out its evolutionary niche at the sweet spot between speed and size millions of years ago and may be one of the oldest species on the planet. Stalker appears to be attracted- Specialized exhaust funnels, it farts oxygen. Nice. Yep. The coral farts oxygen and you just breathe it in. And here we in. have the feral explorer, engaging in its natural behaviors in its natural habitat. As you may know, the natural habitat of the feral explorer is wherever it damn well shouldn't be. Yep. Sorry for any bad grammar, I've been working all day and now have a cat evading my personal space. All good. 
The stalker appears to be attracted to titanium deposits, which tend to sharpen and put stress on its teeth. As with many predators, it may be possible to temporarily distract hungry stalkers by feeding them. Teeth. The stalker's teeth are unusually hard and fast-growing. Its elongated snout can deliver huge biting pressure to larger attackers, while also being used to reach small herbivores seeking refuge amongst the rock. Night vision. Retinal layering on the eyeball suggests adaption for nighttime hunting. Dorsal ridges. These ridges can be moved independently to, to deliver superior maneuverability. Pelvic fins. Long and powerful, the stalker has evolved to hunt the fastest of prey. Assessment. Stalker teeth may have applications in enamel glass fabrication. Rat. Scavengers and parasites. The shuttle bug. Common scavenger at the base of the food chain. Mouth parts small enough to be of little threat to most organisms. This creature is clearly adapted to feed on waste products of the ecosystem around it, so it eats poop. Three mandibles. Used to orient themselves when drifting and to filter through detritus on floor caves. Three legs. High strength muscles can propel the life form at great distances through the water as well as ambulating them across the sea floor. Assessment. Necessary waste recycler. Presence may indicate nearby cave systems. Creepvine. A kelp species concentrated in large forests and shallow sandy waters. Loose roots anchor the plant to the seafloor from where it grows steadily toward the surface in pursuit of sunlight. The stem is fibrous and rich in iron, making it both a viable base material for fabrication of textiles as well as a basic foodstuff. Vital alien resource, edible construction applications. All right. She takes her time, now having a working shelter, to learn of the local wildlife scant over the days past. She find many interesting facts that intrigued her, and made her laugh. Fucking night time. Uh, okay, so this is what we needed. Alright, so it's all the way over there. But it means guaranteed sea glide when I get there. Mm. Goddamned autocorrect can't make proper sentences. No, it cannot. Maybe I should switch to my computer. Mm. I mean, it may be of assistance. But that's up to you. I thought I already had glass in here somewhere. I guess not. Also, I enjoy the- to make a fucking flashlight, all you need is a battery and some glass. Silver or MacGyver, that shit. Yeah. We got a battery, computer chip. We still need wiring kit, which means one more silver. Well, this housing crap they put on flashlights is just a way of increasing the price, right? P. Sure. <laughs> You're in fu Ugh. The character is an idiot. Hmm. I wonder what if would happen if I shine this flashlight directly in my face. News, you get blinded. We're just gonna try and sneakily sneak over this. Hopefully not get their attention. I don't want their attention either. 
itu. Absolutely something I want. Oh, sounds like a oxygen thermal vent nearby. Really? All right. Oh, hey, a trash can. I've found a new bed. She had found information of a piece of equipment that will lead to a better chance of survival. She navigates the dark ocean in hopes of retrieving it. And then she found a place for bad wafers. Hey, don't put my waifu in the trash. you right now is your waifu bad i mean it's moon so you know don't please don't don't Just leave me alone thank you Ooh, this looks bad slam dunk that shit LOL, JK. Alright, well. Didn't find much. I think there is like a nearby wreck though. Yep, I'm going. Hmm, salt. Alright, that'll do. Oh, did I finish the secret? God damn it. I still need one more piece for the sea glide. Game, you already have it, bitch. Ooh, what's this dark dank hole? Is this deeper and darker and danker than I can go? Ooh, strange glowing plants. I'm making a mistake, I know that. Continued degradation of the Aurora's drive core may result in a quantum detonation. Continuing to monitor. That's lead. Be advised, a common complication for cave divers is loss of orientation, followed by eventual asphyxiation. Oxygen. God damn it. Of course I. Of course I didn't fucking. She make a started to have conversations with the narrator she had been imagining in her psyche, threatening to stab it with a knife for dissing her waifu. The narrative has become self-aware. Yes! Just okay. Monica. God damn it. Oh shit, I found a red reef biome. Nice.
Leave me out of it, rogue. Swimming, 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 just keep swimming. At least I have plenty of salt to cure things with now. to make bleach. Need that, that. As she is swimming in the endless, vast sea, she dreams of life back on Earth. The movie Finding Nemo <coughs> had come to her mind. She though is this what their life is like. But I grabbed a bit. All right. Is designed to construct habitats capable of withstanding extreme environmental conditions. What did I just get? Fire tool? All right. Okay, so. Still need to build the sea glide. Oh, a compass? Well, shit. Where's this? There it is. Battery, lubricant, copper wire, and titanium. I think I have all of that. Can't. Okay, so I need a battery. Easy fix. Copper wire, battery, sea glide. Arguably the most important item in the whole goddamn game. Range. For your safety, please pack supplies for long journeys and stay within five kilometers of the nearest life pod or habitat. Put that away. I got two filtered water. Wouldn't hurt to make a grab trap. Now I need to find more stuff for a grab trap. Probably should make the compass so I know where the fuck I'm going. A sea glider just within reach, she grabs a few last material to construct the item that would be key to her survival. A small tune played in her head from an old video game she had used to play as she raises it above her head. Hot, hot damn. This is where that thermal vent was. Alright. Looks familiar. 
Didn't I fly over this earlier? The narrator takes a small break to feed its cat. Okay, so I already have the mobile vehicle bay. Just have to build it. All right. Danger. 30 seconds. Ow, 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 ow. Don't mind me just injuring myself. Alright, so this is the small wreck we found earlier. Gotta find other small wrecks. And now we see the feral explorer marking its territory by clawing at the ground and walls, and taking bits from those walls as trophies of its accomplishments. <laughs> Two very different types of narrators for this. It's great. One from the alien side, and one from the human side. Thirty seconds. Already got that. Question is, which is which? <laughs> Who let you back in the studio? You were told to stay out of here. Good, another message. Mm. Deeper and deeper she dives each day, collecting new and strange resources and discovering new life and environments in the ocean. She realizes that all of that time spent playing Minecraft was useful after all. <laughs> no, I won't need titanium ingots for a while. on board. Coordinates attached. <clears throat> we landed a kilometer from the crash site, but there's radiation in between us and the rendezvous. Request immediate assistance. Six out. Coordinates corrupted. Huh. Approximate transmission origin recorded to data bank. Carry two of us? Your regular sea glide tows a mass of 80 kilograms at over 30 kilometers an hour. The power cell rig to this one should double that. You think there's something out there that's faster? I'm sure. And that's assuming it doesn't overload three meters from the light pod. You're calm about this. I'm seeing the engine. A new message. Problem. Other people still I'm alive and not far from her location. She gathers her things as she gets ready to depart, hoping to reach them in time. A distress signal has been received from Life Pod 6, but the attach coordinates were corrupted. Last available photographic data has been downloaded and analyzed. Crew requests assistance navigating radiation sunk to approximately 100 meters, located in an area dense with red grass near a number of 
natural arches and rock stacks. Transmission approximately and 400 meters south. And here the Feral Explorer south, listens uh, to the howls of other Feral Explorers on the wind, and it considers going out and west, making assertions of, of dominance over forest, those neighbors to ensure its territory is not infringed upon. Data indicates that swimming was your favorite activity. Was. Be sure to vary your routine for uniform Look you. muscle development. <laughs> Analysis confirms this wreckage is from the Aurora. Outer layers of material have oxidized, suggesting it has been heated over 1200 Celsius. This pattern is consistent with hull disintegration during Stop. atmospheric entry. Salvage of intact portions of Altera vessels is prohibited at legal, moral, and technical levels. However, scraps such as these can be reclaimed for their titanium content at any Altera fabricator. I guess I will need that. Uh, you are ruining compass. my chances at a Writer Guild Award. How do we make this? There we go. Copper wire and wiring kit. I think we have enough silver. Nope, oh, that's gold. So it's already equipped. So that location was 400 meters west northwest. That's by northwest of Life Pod 4's last known location. I guess we're Life Pod 4. West by northwest this direction. Oh, good. It's nighttime. Check some. We're not headed towards. I just want to make sure we're not headed towards the Aurora because that's high radiation levels. Fucking laugh if I run into a Reaper Leviathan. All right. The Definitely protagonist not. finds herself now with two voices in her head, starved of human interaction. This insanity is the only thing now keeping her sane. I don't think this is the right direction. This is 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. It's the mushroom forest. It's gonna start getting dangerous here. Let me pick stuff up. 30 seconds.
Somehow we missed it. She closes in on what might be the location of the other crew members lost at sea. She stares into the dark ocean below and thinks, who do those damn jellyfish think they are? Shining brightly in my darkest hour. Okay, there's some red grass. Yeah, most of the biodiversity wants to eat me, so, as you can see here. That big fish. What a big fish. She finds that exploring the bottom ah! of the reef can bite. Ooh, green table coral. Hello. Ah, stop shooting stuff at me. Why are you so close to the surface, baby? Mm. Now. Probably go back to looking for the wreckage. Speaking of, guess what I found? I found wreckage. Passing 100 meters, oxygen efficiency decreased. Bioreactor, yes. Not exactly what I meant to scan, but it'll work. Ah. Parts of things here that are good. She stumbles across giant ray type ocean life, with a new resource on top of it. They lead her towards a new discovery in finding her lost crewmates. <laughs> Alright. Um... Okay, that's a new glitch. Just levitate out of the ocean, it's fine. It's a laser cutter. It's not even moving, why are you having such a hard time scanning it? Come on. She now has two ability to levitate, though amusing, not really helpful in this circumstance. Oh no. Self scan is advised. Oh boy. Doesn't mean anything good. Infected. Vital signs normal. And here we have the rarely seen water dance of the feral explorer, normally done to attract mates. The rarity comes from the fact that feral explorers rarely actually mate. Warning. 
Love it. Ah! Alright. Alright, you know, flick. I'll move on. Don't you worry, I'll be back for you. And you. And you. And all of you. I'm gonna kill you all. Straight up murder your asses. Just confused as to why I can't find this guy. My fault. Look at the little fishies. They are so squishy. <laughs> Alright, that's it for water. Gonna make fucking make shark fin soup out of them. Okay, so I did complete that. No, we Listen don't know. to that dominance assertion call of the feral explorer, frequently the issued when it is evading its natural predators. Passing 100 meters, oxygen efficiency decreased. And again, we're back here. Under the sea. Under the sea. Down where it's better, down where it's wetter, take it from me. Wow, nope. All kinds of nope with that sentence. Oxygen. Yeah, okay. Oh shit, actually, I'm kind of screwed. That was a really late notification. Go, just go, just go, just go, just go, just go. Ah, I'm floating again. Mm, yes. <laughs> My levitation. Oh, that would be the that garage. That has an interesting alternate interpretation when you're horny and drunk. Yep. Oh god, it's bone sharks. Nope. Oh hey. I found something. Don't think that's what I meant to find. But hey, I'll take it. All right. Oh, no. Okay. Now we have a problem. Oxygen. Now I'm going to die. We're just, we're gonna try and make this as good as possible. The water dance of the feral explorer has adopted a new sound. It squeezes as it looks for its mate. God damn it. Yep, I'm swimming, I'm swimming, I'm swimming. I've made a mistake. Did not pack extra. Ah, oh, fuck. Forgot to pack extra batteries. Take it from me, kids. Pack an extra battery.
she briefly pauses to contemplate the mistakes of her life leading up to this point, all before suddenly realizing that her life will carry on, and her elation is such that she rises inexplicably above the surface of the water. Her elation is that profound. Oxygen. <laughs> Swim as fast as possible. Now having lost the most important survival tool she had, she finds life in the ocean, that much harder now. She thinks I bet Ariel didn't have to put up with this shit. <laughs> Passing 100 meters, oxygen efficiency decreased. Disinfected water. Thirty seconds. New blueprint acquired. Hmm. Still no batteries. Can't wait to make the rebreather. Again. This is just. She ironically <laughs> finds happening. the blueprints for the thing that would save her, only to almost die discovering it. Yeah, battery charger is definitely helpful, but I need actual batteries. Okay, so I think I've looted this place out. There's just a couple of those. There's some here. 30 seconds. Worth it though. Still didn't find the life pod. I think what we might just do is swim back. All right, fucking ballerinas over here. I like that I can't even, like, stand on it. Oh, here we go. Oh, come back. Come back. She now has perfected the techniques of the water dance. Her futile attempts to find a mate though, lead her towards finding comfort atop of the ray-type creature's back. Alright, so I think when I reach the life pod, we're gonna call it the quits for the stream. Um, might be back another Friday with more, but uh, we got we got decently far. We found one life you pod. Think we completed has a bunch. To deal with this shit? We got. We, <laughs> huh. Well, first of all, if Deadpool died, it wouldn't be a big deal because he just fucking recover and come back to life. It's fine. Um. But yeah, I mean, we found a life pod. We almost found another one. We found a couple of. I keep wondering at the graphical anomalies of the water effects. 
It took me this long to realize that these graphical anomalies are actually me not wearing my glasses. <laughs> Dash dot you. Good job, Mnemonica. Took you an hour to realize that... Hmm. Game looks weird because I'm not wearing my glasses. I'm gonna fucking need a diamond. Should actually pack a beacon. And I'll need to make a battery next time. She didn't equip her fish lens. Health. Oh, listen to one more of these. This is Ozzy from the cafeteria. What the hell, guys? They didn't warn us this might happen. Our pod was almost crushed by this Seamoth Bay on the way down. Now we're hanging on the edge of a cave system, and this grim looking snake thing's trying to eat through the hull. Come get us already. All right, then. The next time we come back, we'll be able to hopefully go get a sea moth. Um, but first, we're gonna need to make some batteries. Look, you haven't seen me spend a full hour searching around, bitching about how it's unfair that I have to use my eyes to find the glasses I need to see, only to realize the glasses I'm looking for are the ones I'm already wearing. Wow, Mnemonica. But yeah, so thanks for joining me for Subnautica. I'll be back on Tuesday night with... Honestly, I don't know what game for I bought what, but we'll find out soon. And then Wednesday is 4 Pixels with Final Fantasy on their channel. And Thursday will be Why on Moon's walk. channel uh, playing... Or no, we'll be back on my channel playing 999. <laughs> we finished Dream Daddy. Ablee, or at least ablee, that ablee. one. That's all, folks. But yeah, so... We're going to hit save. And thanks for joining. Bye-bye.